pray here, prayer. The utmost form of worship. And we understand the whole prayer is a conversation between the two and the world. And so there are times for us to speak to God, there are times for us to listen to what God is saying. And so right now we are going to speak to God. And we take over his money. He is God who listens. I will not say this. Did I, he is God who listens. He is God who hears. He is God who answers. Ungu tiko manela ya. Ungu tiko vaya. Ungu tiko And so when we are praying today or right now, May I give you assurance of God that we are going to pray. We are praying to God who listens, God who answers, and God who hears. Why? I'm just reminding you, it is not something that you don't know, but something that we know. So let me also remind you, because this is not something that we do not know. It is also something that we know. Humani has already told us about what worship is. And so let me maybe remind Ogobana what worship does to you. Worship transforms. When you worship God in truth and in spirit, then worship transforms you. Worship is discover you. We are Skumana in worship Ogobana Kumbani Kuti. You discover in worship of who God is. That is what you do. After you have discovered the Roman teaching of the Bible, was in the King 179, what you discover in the So, King Kosala, because you understand the sinful nature of who you are as a person in Yama. Was going to wonder how small and how big Utiko is in front of you. And so, after you have discovered yourself, Okoba Urubano, Utiko Urubani, Utinjili Funi Dahula, because it is through your endeavor that I may be able to walk and overcome. Through worship, we overcome. That is what worship does. Worship, through worship, uh, we, 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 we get a connection between Jesus and Jesus. I need to reset it. When we take what you are doing in Genesis, um, that you don't do a moon after you won't be there. We are painful. Um, we are working inside us. And so we give you the spirit of God inside us. And so that what worship does, it evokes that spirit that is within us and then it connects us with the creator who created us. And after we have connected with the creator who created us, then we recover and discover ourselves in him. And so that's what we're going to do today. That's what we are here to do. We are here to rediscover ourselves in him to worship. We are here to restore our relationship with Him because that's what worship is also. It is an intimate relationship between God and the human being. And an intimate relationship means you are one with Him. He says so. That's an intimate relationship that God wants in us. And that is what worship is. It is the longing of that intimate relationship with God. So we may know who he is in us and we may know who we are in him. That's what worship does. In Peter, put your worship. This is what we need. We need to be in an intimate relationship with God in order for us to understand the Obana. See, many are only with God. That's what worship does. And also, God Amen. God Amen. Worship, it is, it is understanding God's grace. It is understanding that we take all, we take all, we take all, we 
Tell them what we did. Designing a boy and a total. It is. 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 It and so because of that grace, then we got to have a relationship with him. But we may, we, we, we can never understand that. We may, we can never understand it. We may, we can never understand what I just read. Right now, I want to go to the spirit and, and, and in truth. We, we can only understand the other name, so that's what question does.
Thank you.